Good afternoon, New Albany, and welcome to Chit Chat. I'm Janae Von Laren. I'm Joe Bonilla. And I'm John Diaz. And we're coming to you guys. Uh, today it's Tuesday, March 3rd. Is it March 3rd already? Yeah, March yep. 3rd. It is oh, March, 3rd. March 3rd. That's I've been right. sick of hearing of this date. I work at Ruby Tuesdays, and March 3rd, opening of our brand new menu. So, Ooh, oh, today. Yeah, we got double, you know those little minis that all these restaurants are coming out with, like these little mini burgers? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're coming out with the double stack mini burgers. Uh, so, you're getting an up on the rest of the Oh, God, and buffalo chicken burgers and chicken salad burgers. So, come down, start of the new menu, so... Yeah, I don't know. March third. We promote your restaurant. I know, right? I, I'm not right? trying to promote you it. Right? You that? You know. <laughs> no, but I should get a raise. You should. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but what do we got today? John? Um. Well, on Monday we talked about a British. Uh, on Monday on Wake Up Albany, we talked about a British author, Adele Parks, who's now 40. She was proposed to nine times. Proposed, proposed to, to nine, times? nine times. How's that and work? And she out? said no each time. Oh my god. We re we related her to a Runaway Bride. You know, oh, the movie. Okay, yeah. With so, Julia Roberts. Yeah. So she were. She was proposed to nine times, and um, starting at the age of 17 years old, she was proposed How to. How old is she now? She's 40 now. Mm. 40. So nine times. And she said that um, the reason why she was proposed to so many times was because she just wasn't herself. She says whoever she was around, if the guy liked sports, if the guy liked reading, if the mm -hmm. guy liked politics, she just acted like she liked that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she became the perfect girlfriend. I see. And they fell in love with her, and she just wasn't herself. So she finally realized, hey, I'm changing for these guys, and I shouldn't. So now, it's it's just, it just took nine times for that, though? I, I, I guess so. 30, what, 30, oh, no, no, 27, 23, 23 years. years? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. It's a little early. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today, um, we're going to talk about the 10 most dangerous mistakes you probably make with women, the guys. Because, okay. you know what? She made mistakes, but it benefited. But when we make mistakes, we get screwed. Big I time. Mean, big, I mean, big but time. I don't get help. All nine of these guys didn't realize or didn't sense that she was lying or not being herself. You know, I don't, I I don't guess know. it's easy to fake. Yeah, I it's don't know. easy to go with the flow. You guys yeah. are just not that bright. That's probably what it is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so what are these mistakes? All right, now? well, mistake number one is being too much of a nice guy. Too much of a nice which guy. Which I get a lot, actually. Yeah, you're a nice guy. I'm a nice guy, <laughs> and... Nice guys finish last. We really do. No, it's it's true. It, it, it's very sad, though. I think I told Joe for the past two Joe. years. Joe? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, that I'm like, you, you're just too nice. Be mean to me. Like, you need to be mean to me. Girls like the mean yeah, guys. Yeah, but now, you know what? Once you get more mature and, like, a little bit older, Girls. you realize, wow, I really want the nice guys. I need them, like, yeah. You know? Yeah. And you start to, I think the whole immaturity thing is the reason why the nice guys finish. So that. hopefully in a couple of years, a uh, woman all over me. Yeah. You know, all right. You will. <laughs> well, they say women don't base their choice of men on how nice a guy is. They choose the men they do because they feel powerful gut level attraction for them. Wait, so gut level attraction. Gut level attraction. Well, you have to be attracted. Yeah. In the beginning, like that's the, the first. spark has yeah. to be there. Yeah, definitely, without yeah. a doubt. Not saying that you know looks are everything, but it needs. Well, it says that being right. a nice guy doesn't make a woman feel the power of attraction. Mm. So, and being nice doesn't make a woman choose you. So, I mean, I don't know what it means, but yeah, you I just, like, all girls like different types, types of guys, guys, I guess. And being, just because you're nice doesn't mean that all girls are going to love you. That's yeah. right. That's right. And don't think being nice is a bad thing. Like, you'll get your girl eventually. Time, you know, patience is a virtue. Remember that. <laughs> Things work out. Always in the end. <laughs> um, well, mistake number two is trying to convince her to like you. Trying to convince her to like that you. That could backfire. Yeah, it could backfire big time. How would you try and convince either of you? Try and convince a girl to like you. <laughs> Blank. I know, right? Blank. You don't. Know, you never tried. No. It just yeah. comes they just naturally. come naturally. It comes naturally. It comes naturally. Yeah. 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 It comes naturally. Yeah. I don't need to do that. The girls flock to. Oh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe yeah, it's the stylish. In, in fantasy land, cool, yeah. Cool His words. cool shoes. Yeah, my cool, nice shoes. salt ridden shoes, yeah. Me too. Word. I have salt on my Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I know. But what would you guys do? Would you um, to her bring her flowers, or or do you think that's too cliche? So I rely upon my personality. Either I make them laugh or whatever. Yeah, you that's know. bogus. What I would oh, do Oh, that's bogus, is please. If you're well, that's out, right, my girl. If you're out and stuff, <laughs> you know. And <laughs> I'm just kidding, Joe. <laughs> if you're out with all your friends, no, you 
dog messing yeah, I know. <laughs> if you're out with all your friends and you see the girl that you've been talking to, whatever, you start talking to all your f girlfriends, like the okay. friends that are girls. You get them jealous, maybe, you know, convince them to be like, oh, look, I'm a ladies' man. Try and make them jealous. You know what? That's a good way. I, I think. think the whole jealousy thing, as much as I don't want to admit this, yeah. it, works. it definitely works. It works. Okay, let's look at The Bachelor, right? The, the show? Yeah, the okay. show. Which... Last night was the season finale, but I don't want to give away who won or anything. Because <laughs> if you didn't see it, you can still go on to, um, I think it's abc.com, and you can watch the rerun. Um, but anyway, this guy gets chosen as The Bachelor, right. and he's got, I think it was like 17 girls in the beginning of the show that are all fighting for his love, and they want to be his wife, and happily ever, ever after, like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so all these girls... I don't feel that each one of them has this connection that they... No, there's no way. Like Assume that they have and like, convince themselves yeah, that they right. have. But I feel it's the jealousy. I, I feel the it's competition. The, the fact that they're on television. Yeah, well... This is true. I don't know. I, I think it's because when all of these women are competing for one guy, they psychologically make themselves think that they like this guy, but really it's the competition and... They're jealous of the other girl, you know? So yeah. jealousy is a big... We should have an ATV bachelor. And have, like, JV on. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, my God. dear God. And have a couple of girls fight over him. Yeah, we would have a couple. So <laughs> a, couple. Okay, a couple, that's all we would be. We get a thumbs up, yeah. yeah. Aw. <laughs> you know. That's not nice. But I think, yeah, jealousy, I, I think that'll... Uh, that's how I might want to try to convince her. That's a good one. All right, well, now. thanks. <laughs> I'm the ladies' man. Uh, mistake number three, looking to her for approval or permission. Big mistake. Looking yeah. to her for approval or permission. Yeah, and our desire to please women, us guys, oh, um, are always doing these things women want to approve or per like per permit. Like, you want them to be like, oh, yeah, I'll let you go out with the guys or like you but you look up for her for her permission you don't want to no so you don't want to have to always be like there should go be out my guy friends permission Can I do this? at all in a relationship if you no. have a healthy relationship i shouldn't have to be like oh can I go out with my friends tonight? No, you should just go exactly. out with your friends. Well, Can I go to the bathroom right now? Like, some people yeah. are that crazy. No, it's, like, it's, bad. it's yeah. bad. Girls are never attracted to a guy that kisses up. No. Uh, really, ever. Mm -mm. Well, uh, like, I'm not going to have to, uh, I don't know. But at the same time, you want to feel like they care, but don't show it for them. Right. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> like, I don't know. What did they say about it? It pretty much is that. Girls, it's an honorable idea, but... You just gotta, like, I don't know, you just gotta, you gotta s keep your power, I guess. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember, ex-boyfriends or whatever, I've heard it all from all of my friends that, you know, call me after you go to the bathroom, or <laughs> call me, call me in five minutes, uh, I'll see you in a little bit, like, when are you coming over? Right. Like, all within one hour, and I remember, like, oh my god, this is absurd, like, I do not want this relationship. You know, no, it's, it's maybe once or twice a day a phone call. Yeah, that's yeah. good. You know, that's decent. You need yeah, to right. have your own time because right. having your own time makes time with them better. Right. You I know? know someone who I'm not going to say her name, but she lives around my area um, in, in um, Colonial, and her um, cell phone broke. Yeah. So her she doesn't even know her boyfriend's phone number, right? Okay. So it's very early in relationship. I mean, how many friend known phone numbers do you guys know, right? Yeah. So she doesn't. So they've been talking on through Facebook and IM right. because she doesn't have a phone yet, and so I, I don't. She got she, she. I don't even know, but she says that's really working out. She says that Facebook and even IMs, it's really she says it's working out. Yeah, because he well, good for he her. doesn't live close. It's like a okay. long distance relationship. Oh, okay. That's new. Like she knows it from home, so you know, they trust each other, and she says it's good. So that's yeah. good. It's nice yeah. to have a little break from each other. You need your own time. You need right. to be able to do your yeah. own things. You know. Like, I, I need to paint my nails, like, every other day, because my mom made me neurotic about it. Like, right now, if she saw my nails, I'd be dead. <laughs> They're disgusting. But that's from work, so. Well, then you have an excuse. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, mistake number four, trying to buy her affection with foods and gifts. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I don't even really... Red roses... They might not be for everyone, but they're definitely not for me. I they seem very cliche ish. Yeah, you know? exactly. I'm a daisy girl. <laughs> I, I say. love daisies. Okay. They're just so happy. Like, can you look at them? Don't you feel So, like a guy could buy your affection with daisies? Not my affection, but my attention. Uh -huh. I see. Open the door. At least. It's attention okay. over affection, definitely. Because 
like, you know. You have to have a little, like, romance. Something like yeah, that makes you feel like, oh, they went out of their way to get me something. Like, they really want, I guess you know. You just right. can't overly buy them. Yes. That's when you can't be sending them flowers every day because they get sent. Yeah, like, right. nobody wants the, like, Joseph and Janae nameplate across their chest. <laughs> like, that's and just yeah. a big thing yeah. for here. Right like, taken, I'm taken. Right. And, like, no. The label break. Right yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. Nobody wants, well, I don't want those things. Maybe you do, but I don't. But, yeah, no, definitely no affection. Maybe a little chocolate. I like chocolate. A little bit of chocolate? Oh. All yeah. girls love chocolate. Dark chocolate. It's good for you. It's an aphrodisiac, too, right? Yeah. Nice word. I know, right? Nice I word. Didn't mess up on that either. Ow. What did you say right there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's mistake like, number five, though. Okay. This is a big one, which I feel like I feel like I always hear from all the guys. The sh sharing how you feel way too early in a relationship That's with her. Big time. It's big time. huge. Definitely. I mean, girls get scared. Don't no. Don't it's a deny it. Warning sign right there. Big warning. Beacon. You know, right yeah, there. Guys fall. I feel like guys fall a lot harder for a girl before they fall for that for right. him. But. Right. They just don't, guys just don't show it. Right. I think. So when they do show it, the girls get really scared. I think that, okay, guys do fall for girls, like, quicker than girls do, but, how do I say this? I think it's because when a guy really likes a girl, he's really, really going to pursue her. So I feel like his, his feelings are kind of already made up, and hers are still, like, up in the yeah. air, you know? But I definitely agree. Do not. Because if a guy, if you're talking to a guy, wait, and he says to you, um, "I like you," like to, to like, or I really, really like you, like into a week in a relationship, what would you do? You'd get scared. I get scared probably. Yeah. yeah. And especially if the girl's not really ready for a relationship and she doesn't really right. know what she wants. Like if she just wants to have fun, she's in college. You know, wants to hang out with her girlfriends, go out on the town. Have some Cokes. Yeah, have some Cokes, drink some Cokes, maybe a little Diet Coke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I definitely think that... Which one was this again? <laughs> sharing how you feel way like too early in a relationship. I definitely think that sharing how you feel too early could ruin all of that. Without a doubt. Right. It puts you out there. It really just puts you out there. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah. think, like... If someone said that to me, like within a week, I would, I would freeze. Yeah. I'd be like, "Oh my god, oh my god," you know. Oh my god, like, oh, oh, oh. Like, yeah. 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 Well, even so, if a girl said that to me, I think I'd get freaked out too. But then I just feel actually really good about myself. <laughs> I'd be like, "Yeah, of course she likes me." Oh you my god. I, mean? I feel like girls don't get it like that. Girls just yeah. get scared. Guys are just like, "Yeah, all right." Yeah. It I works. Don't know. You know. Yeah. Whatever. But when is the right time then? You know when the right time is. It will happen. It'll naturally. just exactly. That's it'll like happen the, naturally. It's like the I love you, and then the oh, well, I love spending time with you. Yeah. Like, yeah. You never oh, know. Right. Yeah. Like, Did oh, you see um, the heartbreak kid when um, he was I? Oh, did you ever see it with Ben no. Stiller? When oh, we yeah, it was actually on um, Sunday night. Yeah. It was on television. The heartbreak yeah. kid with Ben Stiller, and he is um, like he's supposed to get married to the yeah. blonde girl. And then the they shit. go on their the honeymoon. Yeah. So they get married. They go on their honeymoon. Falls in love with this why, other chick. Why are you going like this? <laughs> because it doesn't, it's like a honeymoon, but it's like. It's not really like this. All right. All right. He falls continue. in love with someone else. <laughs> he, he finds this other girl who he's so attracted to. She's super cool. Like, like sports, this and that, you know. And I guess, like, he was with his wife um, in bed. <laughs> And she goes, oh, I love you, honey boo, or something like dumb like that. And he goes, oh, love, 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 love. <laughs> like, because he didn't want to say, I love you, <laughs> right. you know? So it's just another way to get out around just it. say, love, 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 love. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's really funny. I know. <laughs> Saying I love you too soon is a little, uh, it's like, those words are very powerful. They're really, you they are, I've only said it a couple of times, actually. Like, so. I genuinely, like, love my grandpa. Like, I love him to death. Hopefully not the way you love Joe, though. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't anyway. believe I just said that. I know. <laughs> anyway, no, I love my grandpa so much, but I don't think we've ever said I love you to each other. It's understood, you know? though. Yeah, it's but understood. it's understood. Like, you right. just know it. So sometimes words are overrated, I feel. They are, they are. You know, I feel that, you They're know. They're just words. They are. They really are just words. Just like, words. what does love mean? Like, love? 
Because I'm getting all philosophical on you guys right. now. <laughs> <laughs> no, L O V E. They're just right. lines that right. we put squiggle. the meaning to it's it. So love to me could mean something. Love to you could mean totally something else. You know? Yeah, I know. Kind of like I was at work this weekend, yeah. and someone, my boss, came up to me. I don't know. He was just talking to everybody. He was like, "What's the difference between seeing someone and dating someone?" That, my mom always asks me that question, okay. too. Whenever you talk, you're like, oh, yeah. Like, she's like, what's the difference between talking and, and what's the difference between seeing and what's what's a friends with benefits? Because back in the day, and they had no it was idea. just, can I wear your class ring? And bam, you guys were in love. Like, right. Can I put my hand in your back pocket and yeah. walk down the hall? <laughs> you want to go make out in my really cool Corvette? Like, <laughs> you know, like something like that. Um, but, yeah, well, like, what is the difference? What do you think is more serious, dating or seeing? Dating. Dating. Dating, definitely. I agree. And that's yeah. what I said to, like, we had a whole discussion at work about this. About right. dating, yeah. Yeah, dating is definitely more, ex I think it's more exclusive. Right. Seeing is just, it's much more vague, you know. Yeah, but then people the say, oh, are you are you dating people? Yeah. Stay. Like, <laughs> yeah. really? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand. Well, so, well, mistake number six is not getting how attraction works for women. So you don't, just don't understand how, why women are attracted to different guys. Because women are very different from men when it comes to attraction. When you need to accept this fact you, and deal with it. Uh, you need to accept the fact and deal with it. Definitely. Every girl is so different. Like, yeah. like we say on almost every show, I used to like fat guys. And I don't know what And she's likes. beautiful. I mean, look Thanks. at her. Right. And she liked fat guys. I don't know. Well, it wasn't even the personality either that got me. So I don't know what the excuse was. <laughs> what, the juiciness or what? <laughs> the juiciness. The juiciness. The lubba lubba yeah. belly. <laughs> Look, when a man sees a beautiful, young, sexy woman, he instantly feels a sexual attraction. But does, this doesn't apply for just women. For a woman. Like, they need more than that. You know what I mean? Like, you, you just don't get it. Okay, so men are instantly attracted to women. Yeah, but women... See the person, say, oh, they're cute, oh, whatever. We look and then deeper. We look deeper. It's not all about the outside. Absolutely. We're not like, please. <laughs> Sorry. You know the Victoria's Secret commercials come on, and I'm just like, change the channel. Yeah. Like, I don't want to feel bad about myself anymore. <laughs> I don't want to have low self-esteem. <laughs> yeah, but yet, like, Joe will be like, my stepdad even. My mom and I will be yeah. watching TV, and a Victoria's Secret commercial will come on, or any commercial where there's... Half naked women, and well, he's a guy. I mean, me yeah, and my mom good. are sitting on the couch, and Jay's just watching the TV. But does Jay's your stepdad? Yes. And my mom and I are looking at Jay, and he doesn't realize that yep. we're looking at him, and he's just staring at the TV. Meanwhile, he's the one in control of the clicker. <laughs> Plus, is on that channel for a commercial, which is like ten seconds long. And my mom and I are looking at him like this, and then he finally looks over at us. He goes, "What? What?" We're like. Jay, really? Right in front of <laughs> your right. wife and your daughter? Like, hey, come on, guys. Oh, you know, I know. It's yeah. so funny, but I don't know. I definitely, I can be instantly attracted sometimes. Yeah. That Dolce & Gabbana model. Oh, my God. There's this one Dolce & Gabbana model. Mm -hmm. I don't know his name, but if you Google Dolce & Gabbana model, <laughs> I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure up, you'll see it. Up. Oh, and you'll know exactly who I'm talking about, girls. Please. He is gorgeous. He looks like Channing Tatum, but ears are a little smaller. Oh my well, mistake number seven is thinking that it takes money and looks to get the girl. Money and looks? Well, money pretty much what we've been saying this whole time. Too. Girls, um, you know, they, they, they're a lot different than guys when it comes to attraction. Guys are all about looks. I mean, personality goes a far way too, I guess. But Honestly, I am not about money. Exactly. I mean, it's not. and I'm not just saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm not just saying that whatsoever. I really don't. I I genuinely need to be happy. If I am happy, I'll be set for life. You know, um, I think people who are really really rich now, yeah, I'm sure they enjoy yeah. having their money. But my uncle even said like his happiest times were when he was young and in love with his wife, my aunt, and just that you know they just had each other, and now they have all this money in the world mm -hmm. and. Yeah, they're all happy. He's rich then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, loaded. Jeez. But, no, I don't go for money. Do you go for money? Money? I mean, like, I don't want the person, like, broke, broke. You know, well, yeah, you don't want to go into you know. debt with this person. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I've said before um, on the show, I'm all about the cougars. The cougars. Oh, yeah. 
you get so your cougar bait, basically. Yeah, you get right. the oh. hot older lady who was the gold digger in the yep. day. So she gold digs. She did all the work. She gold digs. She gold digs. She's digging a gold dag. I don't even know what's up. Yeah, gold digs. Yeah, gold digs. Um, <laughs> and got all the money when the guy died. Now she's older. She's mm. about to croak. And then you just swoop in. You marry right. her. Take her money. I knew somebody who did that. Sex. Really? Yeah, I knew somebody who did He's that. He's my idol. Um, friend of mine. Friend of a friend. Uh, this one woman, I guess she had, like, memberships to, like, Trump National, the whole deal. Uh-huh. Making, like, $400,000 a year. No. What, what, what did she do? She was a corporate lawyer. Oh. So, you know. Woman in power. Yeah. But That's it's working for him. Yeah. It's big money. I think women like authority. Like, women like people in power. Yeah. You know, like, like Barack Obama is so cute. But, like, I think it's I thought you liked Joe Biden. Joe Biden's so cute. <laughs> Biden. I think it's just... <laughs> oh, <heck yeah. laughs> no, just kidding. Um, no, but I think it's just the whole authority. Like, right. women love men in power. And if that brings to money, then so be it. But, I don't know. Money power over money? Money over power? Um, well, money usually brings power. I mean, true. power usually brings money. Or vice both. versa. Yeah. Both. yeah. They're both correlated together. Correlation. Correlated. <laughs> um, well, mistake number eight is giving away all your power to a woman. Yeah, it kind of reflects back to that yeah. other one saying, you know, can I have permission to go out yeah. with the guys tonight? Right. Yeah, you, you do can't not give away all the power to her because she doesn't want all the power. So. Dude, I will have the power. Oh, really? Oh, see. Let's see about oh, it. Joe, if you're watching, don't give her any power. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Don't do it. Oh. oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Dude, the power doesn't even come from within. Oh, I see. Oh, the guns right there. The guns. <laughs> Welcome to the gun show. You ever seen those, t- those t-shirts that say, you have your tickets to the gun show, yeah. and it has the two arrows pointed to the, uh, the arms? Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the stick you must number- have the shirt, don't I, I do. Yeah. You know. The stick number nine is not knowing exactly what to do in each type of situation with women. What to do in e- What do you mean, like, so... Um, now I'm going to blow your... This is in quotes. Now I'm going to blow your mind. Um, a woman always knows what you're thinking. So, women are approximately 10 times better than men in reading body language. That's 10 times, right? I know it might seem uh, hard to believe, but for, but for example, if you're on a date with a woman and you want to kiss her, she knows it. I definitely agree with this because I feel that girls always know, not always, but for the most part, they, they know what the guy wants. And I think it's so dumb when girls fall for these stupid guys that, like, Clearly, they don't like you for you. Like, they're just trying to, you know, blah, blah, blah. But Well, whatever. it says, and if, if you don't know exactly what to do or exactly how to do it, let's say you want to kiss her and you don't know what to do or how to do it, and you just sit there looking at her and getting nervous, she's not going to help. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> she's, and it, this goes for all aspects of women and dating. So you guys aren't going to help us. You're no. just going to make us look like idiots. No. Yeah. We're going to be sitting there gazing into your eyes. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh, I just want to kiss her. So bad. It's fun looking at you guys, yeah. like, like you guys salivating. Are not gonna yeah. Yeah. You're going to wait for us and make us look like idiots. I can wait. You know, that's basically what you're thinking. Right yeah. There. yeah. <laughs> no, you can't wait. I see. No, you can't. Yes, you can. When a guy really wants a girl, he's just going to go you gotta, you after gotta her. Go in. But you some gotta guys, go the gold, guys. Some guys are really nervous. Like, they get, especially no, around a girl that they really like. They yeah. do. Even the most do confident you? guys. Yeah. I've had situations, yeah. yeah. I've had plenty of situations. But then I've also had situations where I was just like, oh, what the hell, yeah. let's go for yeah. it. Yeah. And then it, I don't know, works out good or Whatever bad. Whatever is meant to be will happen. Right. Once again, drinking off of that corner. What but exactly is love? What is <laughs> what love? Is love, <laughs> love, yeah. love, 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 love. Yeah, but so this one is just saying, like, they just don't know what to do in this situation. Yeah, like, you just don't know, like, you don't know how to act. Know. How to so act how is act. this the mistake? The mistake, the mistake of is not knowing how to act. Right. You just gotta, well, the mistake you just gotta is learn, you gotta, I guess you have to learn from experience. Right. You gotta teach or yourself. you can learn from other people's experiences. If they see True. what to do. That actually comes into mistake number 10, which is not getting help. In their relationships and outside of relationships. So say you and your girlfriend are going through a hard time and you just don't get help. Like girls always ask each other different questions right. and stuff. Like, oh, he did this, he did that. Guys, we usually keep to ourselves. Yeah. You gotta go out there and be like, 
hey, my girl is blah, 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 blah. Right. You know what I mean? You gotta I think guys are afraid to help. admit that they're having problems because they want to come off like their relationship is really great. And you know what I mean? Well, and they say this is the biggest mistake of them all. So you really have to ask for help. And you, they said that also with um, directions, like a situation with directions, like mm -hmm. where you make a mistake with her and you're not going to fix it in front of her is a big mistake. Wait, what do you mean? Like so if you get lost, say you go classic, oh, you're on a road trip okay. and I'm not going to turn around, I'm not going to ask for directions, right. that's a mistake right there. I think that that's because... Nobody wants to actually admit that they were wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, we have this problem all That's the time. That's why you just need a GPS. All oh. The time. Oh my gosh. Pitch all punch. the circuit cities are going out of business. So. Really? Yeah. There's big sales. Big sales. Tom Toms for like I believe it was like 150 bucks. Wow. That's awesome for a Tom Tom. I remember this is a really embarrassing story. Oh jeez, here but we go. But I'm gonna say it anyway. So my friend gets a Tom Tom. My friend Allison. Hi Al. Um. Gets a Tom Tom and she's like, Oh, you know, take my Tom Tom out of the, the glove compartment. I'm like, Oh, okay, whatever. And then she's like, Oh, yeah, I named it Tom Tom or whatever. So I go up to school. I see, oh, my friend Pat, he's got one too. He goes, Oh, you want to grab like my Tom Tom out of the glove box? I was like, Oh my God, you named yours Tom Tom too? I'm like, <laughs> Allison did also. He's like, Janae, that is the Tom Tom. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, that's the brand of the <laughs> yes. oh I thought God. it was like the name that they both happen to name their Tom yeah. Tom Tom. Uh, I have a Magellan, a Magellan GPS, and I call it a Tom Tom. I see. I like, I, I don't call them uh, GPS. It's I call them Tom Tom. Magellan. 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 Oh my goodness. Magellan with Magellan. Magellan with Magellan. Yeah. Yeah. No, but the whole like getting directions and asking for help, you know, like you have to. Now, how would you guys feel? You get married. Right. Per se, even though Mal doesn't believe in marriage. Nope. Anyway, you you could be with the girl forever, but you just have to marry. You can have kids. Yeah. You can have a dual income. If you can live together, you can do it. Don't get married. It messes everything up. It does. Well, I don't. I beg to differ. Okay. Anyway. We'll agree to disagree. So <laughs> hypothetically, say you get married and then you have to get divorced because you don't do the marriage thing. Yeah. Would would you get divorced or would you go and get help? I you get help. Definitely. Yeah. You, get help. you get help before you get divorced. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. You see if it's a salvageable situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so. sadly, most of the time it's probably not. No. The so damage has been done. Marriage yeah. counseling, yeah. marriage therapy. But you should try. Okay. You think you, you would actually do that? Oh, yeah, I would. Well, I wouldn't be married. Because I, <laughs> I know, like, I wouldn't have to true. be in that situation. Yeah. True. But, but, okay, so say you weren't married and you were having problems, would you guys go to counseling? Yeah. Marriage counseling for but the unmarried if, couple? If it didn't work out, they could just leave without having divorce settlements or anything. You said dual... Pre yeah. 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 Pre pre yeah, that's true. Well, no, yeah. you don't have to prenup anything. That you means you're not married. This is true. And if this you have true. kids, you'll have dual custody. One yeah, but what, like... Uh, under ideal circumstances. That's true. See, I don't think, I don't know, having kids without... Being there, like I, I just think that's a little living in sin. Yeah. Is, like, no, not even living sin. In this sin. is not sin. Like, sin. I don't like the whole hyphens in people's names. Like, yeah. I'm not a fan of hyphens. Mm -mm. Joe so Lee Joe would get married because he doesn't want his kids to have hyphens. Right. Basically. Right. But you so. don't want your kids to have hyphens. No, I don't like the whole hyphens thing. Either have one name Dear or the other. Joe Benita's future yeah. wife. Well, he's only marrying you, you know. because. You're pregnant, and he doesn't want your child yeah. to have a hyphen. Yeah. Love, Janae. Yeah. My Thank middle you. name is Bannon, so I'm John Bannon Diaz, and that's my mom's maiden name. So oh, that's cool. I, call, kind of like I know a it's John I mean, Bannon, and that's his but real still, name. There's no, there's no hyphen. There's no hyphen there. There's no hyphen. Right. But yeah, but that's because cool. it's your middle right. name. Yeah. So I'm just throwing it out there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I would definitely get therapy. Uh, well, therapy counseling? Counseling it would be. Counseling. Yeah. Um... But I'm definitely going to marry Good. Well, what about if he cheats? That brings us to our new subject. Yeah. The whole Rihanna, Chris Brown getting back together. Lying and cheating. Lying okay. and cheating. So I'm surprised that this wasn't a mistake. I know, right? Like lying right. or anything, you know? Um, supposedly, word on the streets is Rihanna was pregnant and didn't tell Chris Brown. Like... See, there's so many different stories. I heard that Rihanna had STD. That's what I heard. I, and that's why he I heard about that. Yeah? Well, I saw on AOL.com that Rihanna's pregnant, so... Mm. How old? She's 21 now, right? I believe yeah, so. They, yeah. yeah, we talked about it yesterday. I believe so. Really cool. 20? Really? 
Yeah. I thought that these people were so much older, but no, I don't know. They're our age. But so he cheats, you kick him to the curb? Hell yeah. Good. Yeah, that no, there's good. no time. No time for that. If anybody deceives you like that, mm -hmm. they clearly don't care enough about you. Like, right. forget that. That's not, not, not for me. So don't cheat on Jeanette. Well, yeah. Don't do don't, it. Don't cheat don't on Don't do it. Danger. <laughs> danger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't walk in the face of danger. <laughs> oh, that I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, well, I think that's all we have for today. And uh, hopefully you guys learned some yeah, lessons. Yeah, so don't make those mistakes. mistakes. You, you boys you on the biggest one, ask for help. Ask for help. Ask for help. Mm -hmm. for help. Be your own pole. Not even in relationships, not anything. Just, you yeah. know? Ask for help. Don't be afraid. Okay. All right? Stay classy. Bye. Bye. Bye.